to fend off uh, White Raw's army or White Raw's potential army um, are on the way, and Banelings are on the way. Do we have Banelings speed yet? Uh, that I has don't not believe been we do. I'm but we do have a potential bomb drop. The Baneling drops. Here Baneling they come. Bombs. Oh, what great timing for Baneling bombs. Here comes across the north of the map. A huge stream of units from White Rob. Will he turn around with those Banelings? He, uh, he did turn around with the Overlords. Um, what time are you at right now for the game? I, <laughs> it's actually covered. Oh, right, right. No worries. I think we're, we're synced. Um, 27, don't worry. Banelings are coming in here. Tons of storms blanketing all across the field. Um, but the uh, Broodlords are doing a ton of damage. Stalkers blink in, taking out a few of them. More and more storms. That is so many storms. Uh, that was not a playoff so many Banelings. Don't worry. <laughs> wow. Um, Archons just... morphing in. Archons are actually very good against the Zerg army. But uh, that one is going to get taken out before it does any really, really, da really any damage. Yeah, but there he goes right away. Did lose all those Broodlords, though, but a very successful defense there from EG Machine. Just been trading back and forth with armies this entire map. It's interesting to see who's going to finally go for the killer blow here. Look at the and 12 o'clock position have it. right now. We've got a drop. Yes, we do. Drop on the way. And this is hopefully going to do a lot of damage. Tons of damage to these uh, uh, probes and a few of the High Templar even. Uh, that was more than worth it for uh, for a machine to sacrifice those banelings. High yield here from machines, very well defended currently. A ton of hydralisks chilling out there, so some good anti-air and just overall good defense. Broodlords are back. Also acting in a bit of a defensive posture, but we do also have the high yield going down for White Raw, and he has a very good defense there as well. He has a pair of Colossi. Thermal Lances are on the way as well. So both players have just gone everywhere in the tech ladder today. Tech tree. <laughs> yeah, lots of units being uh, being utilized. Uh, Broodlords Broodler are doing some damage here to the Nexus, but that's going to be clean up, and they're going to be forced to retreat. Although that does reveal that he does have the Colossi. So I'm curious to see if Corruptors are going to be built to counter this or what he's, if he's going to stick with the Broodlords. Small force at the southern Zelnaga Tower making its way forward. Looks like he just wanted to get that tumor. Maynard transfer making its way into White Raw's high yield. Large number of probes. Just still doing harassment with these stalkers. It's been working for him the entire game, just massing together all these stalkers. Yeah, the stalkers have been really effective. He is uh, His ground army is 3-1-3 right now, and the thermal lances are almost complete. Uh, how far along are they on your screen? They have just finished. Okay, good. So we are resynced back up. I paused my game for a couple seconds here to okay. uh, resync back up. But uh, we are good now. Uh, Banelings here, I don't know how effective they're going to be if they're not in the Overlords uh, being dropped. Uh, they're getting, they may get caught behind the roaches if Machine's not careful, but right now I don't think he really cares because he is maxed and White Raw is at 153. Machine's income is, or is uh, sorry, his economy is phenomenal. He's got 3,000 resources in the bank, 1,000 uh, gas as well, and White Raw is pretty much bone dry here. Uh, with all the harassment that uh, Machine has been doing to his top two expansions. Yeah, but as you said, his natural is completely mined out. Even the gas is completely mined out at his natural. I mean, I'm sorry, at his main, at his natural. Both gases have just been mined out, and the minerals are almost completely gone. Here we go with a major broodling drop. The Broodlords are throwing their Broodlings, and it looks like Banelings are popping in. They kill off quite a few probes. That is going to hurt White Raw's economy even more. And uh, right now, I don't know what White Raw can do to combat this. He needs to kill off one of these Zerg bases, but here comes a massive force along the south end lane. Um, if this force does good damage, I expect White Raw to be in a lot of trouble. Yep, and here come all those. Oh, but the Banelings are stuck at the back. They're not able to do anything. I called it. Without the good control, Baneling speed is done, but the Roaches were just uh, causing all of pro all the problems here for the Banelings, and tons of storms clean wow. up this army without a hitch. 
with four Colossi, with three one three upgrades, that is so much damage that they are doing. The Stalkers were able to pick off the Broodlords, and now the Corruptors, and all of these Colossi are staying alive. Look at the spread on those Colossi, staying away from the Corruptors while the Stalkers take them out. Fantastic job by White Raw holding that off. That was just fantastic. He didn't even allow them to get up the ramp. The entire army there of Machine was just obliterated before it could even make its way into the high yield expansion of White Raw. And now he's using those Colossi with those extended thermal lances to try to take out the high yield here of Machine, trying to counter with a whole bunch of roaches. Yeah, I don't know. Those roaches just aren't going to be the answer to uh, this massive force here of, of White Raw with the Colossi, the Stalker, and the Storms. Uh, this gold expansion is pretty much done. He did retreat most of his workers, so he had, did not lose quite enough, or quite all of them. But uh, uh, looking at the income tab, we're still at 79 harvesters for machine and tons of storms going down. Holy Wonderful God, that's a lot of storms. But He's still roaches... able to get in pretty close with some of those roaches, though, trying to focus fire to take out at least one of those colossi, and he's able to. Very nice control by machine, spreading his units out in a very nice arc. Getting, coming at these Colossi from all three angles. The Corruptors oh, there are, the are corruptors. in mass now. Eight of them on the field quickly take out um, these uh, Colossi, and they are no more. White Raw's in a lot of trouble here. His production is very minimal right now. One Colossi on the way, and that is it. His economy is in deep, deep trouble. Just this constant battle of attrition is definitely going in Machine's favor. He has five bases going for him right now, so there's no reason that if he should continue the pace that he's going at right now, he I, should lose this match. Yeah, I, I think this is uh, Machine's game to win here. He is uh, supply capped at 189 right now. He lost a few overlords, but White Raw is struggling to get over 120 supply. Uh, his economy just isn't there right now. Uh, his fourth base at the top, the, the, at the 12 o'clock position, just does not have enough workers. And here comes another engagement, but the Stalkers are going to run away and wait for these Templar to engage. And now that those Templar are there, we have eight Broodlords making their way to attack the high yield here of White Raw. Some nice storms going down to try and uh, get rid of those Broodlords. One goes down, but here comes the backup in the form of all these roaches. They're just absorbing these storms and just Wow, plowing their way through the army. Yeah, these uh, Broodlords are pretty much uncontested right now. All the Stalkers went down. Uh, there are a few Templars still out in the field, but Storms just are not that effective against Broodlords. Uh, the Roaches here burrowing. There is an Observer over the field, but uh, they did regain quite a bit of health that they needed. Uh, they're able to absorb the hits from the uh, Storms and then just burrow. And they're not even caring that all of those Colossi are there. Pushing straight in. Already took one out. Second one will be going down momentarily. It looks like, oh, he's able to retreat with it. But more Broodlords come into the fray. And oh, then things and are not looking good for White Raw. That, this is just too much for White Raw to hold off right now. Uh, with the regenerating roaches, with the massive economy that Machine has, and White Raw losing his gold expansion, there's really not much he can do to, to come back from this game. But uh, it would take a miracle of storms and blink micro, but here it comes. I think this may be one of the last engagements. Uh, Machine is pushing in here. If he loses one more of these expansions, he will be forced to GG. But uh, I don't know if Machine's going to push right away. The Blue Broodlords are making their way to the 12 o'clock position. There's a few cannons there to hold this off and some stalkers, but that is about it. And don't forget, the cannons aren't can't get range on those Broodlords. They have more range than the cannons do. One storm goes down, but these Broodlings are just slowly whittling away at these cannons. There really isn't much, it looks like, that White Rock can do at this point. Definitely not. Uh, Machine, just this was a battle of attrition, and... Uh, Machine just goes. took as many bases as he could. White Raw does GG. So fantastic game by both players. Uh, <laughs> if we have games this length for, for the rest of the series, I am going to be astonished. Um, I think we this will be kind of a treat because the, a lot of the GSL games lately have been very short. Um, and uh, if, if this is any indication of what the rest of the series is going to look like, I am uh, definitely, definitely excited. So Machine takes the first match of this best of five. I wouldn't call that an upset by any means, but that was a surprise, certainly with the way that that match started out. To see Machine have been able to macro up for that long and finally be able to take the game, especially in the face of all those Colossi and the attack that he tried to push into the high yield there. 
near the end of the match that just got completely obliterated. 